One of my favorite slides that come out for 2020 from Skidoo is definitely the Backcountry XRS. Built off the Rev G4 platform, the Backcountry is just that, Backcountry, with a 146 inch track. But possibly one of the most unique designs is not the big track, but the C-Motion rear suspension that gives you a harmony of on and off trail designs built to give you the best of both worlds. Or in short, this sled is built to be able to rip the trails as well, but in stock form, we just don't see the average rider heading out for a touring weekend with the family. So today I've got a nice compilation of parts from Kimpex to make the backcountry a little bit more trailable and family friendly while still keeping the cool factor. And for that family friendly part of this build, I'm talking about going from a single seat to a double. But with Kimpex, it's all about style, comfort, and the ability to switch between one up and two up riding in mere seconds. And the product is called the Seat Jack. Now the Seat Jack comes available for nearly every modern sled made. And for today, I'm gonna to be installing the fully featured, completely full of amenities version. By fully featured, I mean heated hand grips and an RCA output for the second rider's heated shield. Add to this the adjustable rear backrest that's comfortable for a youth rider all the way up to a full-size adult, and the incredibly plush and comfy seat cushioning, as well as shielded handholds to keep snow and wind from getting into the passenger's hands, and you're carrying a passenger in ultimate comfort. Wiring is simple, and install of the seat is nothing short of expertly designed and intuitive. Possibly one of the nicest features is the fact that when you wanna go out for a rip for an off-trail day without the passenger, you can release and remove the seat in just a few seconds. The electrical features quick connectors and the only evidence of the seat left on your sled is four slick looking aluminum mounts that are low profile and quality looking. No ugly brackets, no loose wires, everything is clean and tidy and you're back to the comforts of one up riding. Reinstall is just as simple and can be done by just about anyone without reading a 10 page instructional. In my opinion, this is the easiest to use and the cleanest two-up seat kit in the industry, and it doesn't make your sweet backcountry into a lame two-up couch. The stock skis on the XRS are very off-trail focused, as is the RES3 front suspension that's got a similar geometry to the mountain sled, but making a small change up front here can make worlds of difference. And the swap that I'm talking about is going from the Pilot DS2 mountain-style Skidoo ski to the Kimpex Rush-style ski. A durable UHMW design at 5.5 inches wide features a fully integrated and complete package all in one. It comes with the mounts, the carbides, the ski handles, and the ski itself for much less than the competitors sell just a pair of bare skis for. These Rush skis are super light at only four pounds and they feature a unique teardrop front keel that aids in reducing darting and keeping you tracking where your skis are pointed. The 60 degree single carbide provides adequate bite and with 5.5 inches of width, we can still play off trail just fine, but the on-trail steering characteristics are going to improve massively. Now, while we're up front at the skis, I wanna mention something that's really important for the next part that we're gonna install, and that is that Skidoo snowmobiles are very rider forwards, and that translates into much higher ski pressure than other brands. And while rider forwards does have its benefits, there can be drawbacks as well. And when you're driving into a trailer, paved gas station, lunch stop, or hotel parking lot, it can cause a lot of trouble. When the front end bites so hard, the track just spins. The Kimpex Ruski Gen 3 retractable wheels can be an excellent answer to this problem. The self-retracting wheel system will automatically flip into the retracted position once you hit the trail, and deploying them is simple with just a quick pull on the handle. It's a very unique design that gives you wheeled control and steering on hard surfaces and features three height adjustments, so no matter the ski or carbide you're using, they stay up and off the ground. And because they aren't contacting the ground, this means that your driveway, garage floor, and trailer don't get tore up from the carbides, but also your carbides stay sharper longer. Oh, and they work just as well in reverse too. Now, while we're on the topic of safety on hard surfaces, I wanna talk about keeping your sled safe when it's on hard surfaces, namely hard frozen groomed trails or anywhere where you're not getting enough lube on the rails, because this long 146 inch sled can get a little warm when you're trail riding. Ice scratchers on this big sled are a must, and while some folks think that you only need scratchers on mountain sleds, think again. These Kimpex 12-inch steel scratchers are designed for sleds with less than a two-inch lug. They're easy to install and can be left down when in reverse, without the worry of bending like many other styles. They are reverse threaded and come with Loctite to ensure that they stay put, and they have a built-in serrated carbide tip so you get years of worry-free use, keeping your engine cool and also your slide rails lubed. 
Now on those super cold days when the trail is completely frozen up, it can be really hard to stay warm. And I know that I always get a lot of flack for this, but hand muffs, they're where it's at. I mean, yeah, they look a little different, but at minus 30, there's nothing better, and who cares what they look like? You could ride with thin gloves on and won't have to stop to put your hands under the exhaust or pull your digits back into the palm of your glove and wait for the feeling to return. Yeah, I know you've been there. I have been too, let's all be honest. These muffs have a cool window on the top so you can see all your control surfaces and they're a universal fit. So yes, they will fit your sled no matter the brand. And even with hand guards, they still mount up great and offer a huge amount of wind protection, keeping your hands happier all day. And hey, if it warms up, take them off and toss them in the trunk. They install in seconds. Whether it be utility, off trail or on trail riding, having a set of mirrors can be a huge help. And with today's modern designs, they don't look that out of place. I know we all have a stigma about old chunky mirrors, but Kimpex's deluxe mirror is styled nicely, features a wind release, so even at wide open throttle, they won't move around, and also are protected with a flexible rubber boot, ensuring that the joints stay dry and clean for years of smooth adjustments. Mirrors are incredibly handy when trail riding to keep an eye on the rest of your crew, or even just to see if the passenger on the back seat jack is happy. And I look at it from this standpoint. Even my two-stroke dual sport dirt bike has mirrors and they come in handy all the time. So why not on a 50-50 sled too? And while I'm on the topic of unique stuff, Kimpex isn't just a supplier of cool specialty parts. They have their own product lines within the company that go across many different categories within snowmobiling. And one of those areas is lubricants like this low ash, anti-smoke, high performance two-stroke oil with carbon reducing additives. The Kimpex brand of semi-synthetic oil meets manufacturers two-stroke oil standards and can be bought in one liter, four liter, or 54 gallon drum quantity, and is built to the Kimpex brand standard of quality and performance, staying fluid up to minus 45 degrees Celsius or minus 49 Fahrenheit. While on the topic of cool and unique products, Kimpex also owns its own line of gear called CKX. They manufacture all of it, and this year they have a very cool new helmet called the Mission. While most off-trail riders choose to wear a moto-style helmet, if you're out riding long, high-mile days in cold temps, a full-face helmet is never a bad choice. And the new CKX Mission with the AMS technology is a great answer. The unique feature about this helmet is the AMS, or the air management system, that creates a low-pressure zone at the rear of the helmet to allow the moisture-rich air we exhale to be drawn out the rear of the helmet quickly. Specialty design passages inside of the helmet work together with a rubber breath boot and it directs all of the air into the AMS passages. All of this is designed to give you a fog-free riding experience without the need for a heated visor and the associated cables and wiring. Along with the AMS system, the helmet features a much larger field of view with a greater peripheral vision, as well as the adjustable peak that helps to block out sunlight and adds a cool visual element to the helmet. It's interesting to note that the visor is aerodynamically designed not to catch the wind and pull your head backwards, but directs flow evenly to keep your head stable even at higher speeds. All of this is wrapped into a 1500 gram carbon version or 1600 gram fiberglass design. Just because your sled is designed for one discipline of riding doesn't mean that you have to be pigeonholed. With a few key accessories, you can take a sled like your Backcountry XRS and transform it into a high mile rider or take along a family member for the trip without sacrificing all that XRS cool factor. If you like what you've just seen, click the subscribe button and comment below. And make sure you check out all of our great videos on Snowtracks TV's YouTube channel.